Desmond Ong here. I'm here at my condo and I'm just taking a walk because uh, I've been spending the last couple of hours sitting in my home office editing and preparing my entire slides and presentation as well as coaching that's going to be happening inside the upcoming Platinum Mastery program. And I am recording this video because I want this to be a message to all my students, all my future students, so you all know what to do before you come to Platinum Mastery Program in terms of the settings of your mindset and the context of your mindset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk towards the, the, the edible garden. We have an edible garden here where they have turmeric, garlic, flowers, beautiful, beautiful thing. So I'm just going to walk around there and I'm going to talk to this uh, camera and share with you what you need to know uh, when it comes to what are the mindsets of my most successful students. How come some of them graduate to become extremely successful and some of them do not? And the difference is not in the way I teach, the difference is actually in the mindset of the students before they come. So I would like to share more about that and I would like to talk more about that. So first thing first, I notice that the people who are successful, when they come to my event, they come to my workshop, the way they, they behave is very, very different than the people who don't see result or don't. The reason they don't see result, you have to understand, it's not because they, they, don't, they fail, it's because they don't take action. That's the only way you will fail in my, in my class. You don't take action afterwards, okay? But those people who do, those people who take action, they always see results and always positive results. And let me just share with you um, their mindset of the successful people. Number one, they tend to be extremely, uh, they're big action takers. Now, they don't talk a lot. They don't, they don't really like, well, they do talk a lot, I guess. They do uh, ask a lot of questions and, and they want to know a lot and they, they are very careful with what they do and they take very, very quick action. So these are the people that don't go around and waste time. So here's what I mean. They actually go and become a fast action taker. So before you come, I want you to know this. If you truly want to see results with Platinum Mastery Program, you have to be a quick action taker. Don't just sit around and wait for opportunities to come to you. Don't just sit around and wait for things to happen to you. You know, there will never be a good time. If you want to do it, do it now. It's never a good time, okay? So, you know, I noticed that the most successful students, right after they're done with Platinum Mastery Program, they don't wait for the coaching webinars. They don't wait for anything else. They go ahead and take massive action. They make things happen. And, and, and that's what I like. And those people who usually don't see results, it's because they don't take action at all. They wait, wait, they say, oh, I'm gonna do this after, um, during my next vacation. I'm gonna do this when the time is right. But I'm gonna do this when I have a bit more money. I'm gonna do this when I have a little bit more. Guys, that's never a good time. If you wanna do it, do it now. Take action now. What you learn, implement it right away. You will see results. Money loves speed, momentum creates success. Make sure you understand that. Money loves speed, momentum creates success. While you have momentum, catch that momentum and leverage the money loves speed theory and create money just like that, okay? So principle number one and the key lesson here is to take fast action, okay? You have to take fast action. Don't just sit around and wait the entire day. That's never a good time. Now, number two, don't focus on the money. Now, I've gotten to know some of you because some of you have sent me videos. Uh, some of you are sending me videos just telling me that that's when I just want to make money. That's when I want to make passive income. That's when I need money. That's when I want to quit my job. That's when I want to do this and do that. I want money, 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 money. It's all about the money. You see, when I get to meet successful people, they never talk about the money. And, and you'll be surprised. The most successful people, they never talk about making money. They talk about how they can... Uh, they can spread their wings, how can get their message heard much more and how they can get more people to listen to them, how they can get more people in their audience, how they can you know, get more buyers and get more customers and, 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 and their questions are so much more specific. Now if you're just consistently asking how can I make more money or I want more money, that is what I call an abstract question and that results in nothing because there's a lot of ways to make money. You don't need to come to my program to make money. You can, you can work in, in a coffee shop and get paid uh, I don't know, like some money per hour and you still make money. That's considered making money. So making money is a very vague and very abstract term. And successful people never ask that question. The successful people always focus on value first, money second. So principle number two and the big lesson here is focus on creating value, focus on specificity, don't focus on the money. The reason most people fail is because they always focus on money and when they focus on money, they forgot about 
the, the key specifics that creates that money. So create value, value will create money for you. Don't worry about the money. You know, money should be secondary in terms of, of what it should be in your mindset, especially when you're inside Platinum Mastery Program. Let's say you're offered an opportunity, you take it. Let's say you're offered a, a, a chance to work with me, you take it because that doesn't come very, very often, okay? Because you need to understand what is the value being created in that, not the money. Don't worry about the money. Now, principle number three, like we're talking about money. Principle number three, millionaires, they don't focus on uh, they don't focus on what they spend, they focus on how much they can make. They don't focus on what they spend, they focus on how much they can make. It's an ROI game. It's about getting money. It's about making money. But it's not about understanding that you have to you know, make money. It's very abstract. As I said from principle two, you have to focus on the value. So millionaires ask themselves this, how is my value going to create money? That's the right question to ask, okay? Principle number three, that's it. And, and principle number four, the reason why people succeed when they come to my program is they follow through on their plan. Right after the program, they don't sit around and wait. As, as I mentioned in principle number one, they take action. They have a plan and they make it happen. You know, there's so many people that come to my program and what they do is that they just focus on, you know, I'm just gonna sit around. I'm just gonna, you know, I have this plan and I'm gonna spend the next seven days to draft out this plan so that I know exactly what to do for the rest of my life. Yeah, but guys, you have to understand this. In order to create success, the most successful people that I know, they don't sit around and wait around and, and, and they, just, they just make it happen. They don't plan. They just go ahead because they know when they plan, sometimes those plan changes. So what I want you to understand is principle number four is follow through on your plan. If you have a plan, make sure you follow through on, on your plan. Okay, there's a bee flying around. Okay, so I'm going to brave myself through that and just walk around because the weather is quite nice today and the last principle that i really want to uh leave you with on this video and it, it, this is quite crucial in fact i think this is very very important if you truly want success if you truly want uh the entire idea of being able to create massive wealth for yourself okay which is the ability to understand value per value and reciprocity. Now, this, this sounds very confusing because you're not gonna understand this until you start making something happen, until you start creating value. You see, I will tell you this, a lot of the people that have worked with me in Asia, a lot of them cannot pay my fees mainly because um, my, my consulting fees is just extremely, uh, let's just say in Asia, it's most of, except Singapore, in Asia, it is quite pricey, it is a little bit over a lot of other people's uh, pricing but it's because i get results people always recoup the investment in less than a week with my uh my partnership with my consulting so it, it is worth the money okay but you know in malaysia there's a lot so many malaysians who want to learn from me so many malaysians who would like me to be on their board seat so many malaysians who would like to help me out but the problem in malaysia is that it's it's the currency is just crazy here where you know our currency is currently worthless so for, us to, for, for me to be able to, to ask you to invest in US dollars, it can get pretty crazy. But I want you to understand one thing. If you have value, which goes back to principle, I think the third principle, you have to understand this. If you have value, it might be beneficial to me. For example here, I, I used to teach a personal trainer about internet and how he can go up on online and, and start his own fitness websites and things like that. And he would exchange his, his, his offer for me where he will coach me, he will come to my house and help me out with things. Guys, I'm a human too. There's a lot of things that I need help with. Perhaps there are services that you can trade with me for something, something lighter, you know? I, I want you to know this. That is when you create value. Now, I'm not asking you to trade services with me. I'm not asking you to bother anything with me. All I want you to understand is the reason you have nothing to give, the reason you feel like, oh my God, I cannot afford something is because you are not creating value. So that is what I call value equals to value. You need to create value to gain value in your life. Now, I know value is a very, very vague term, but what I mean by value is a benefit. A value could be something, could be, for example, okay, now I don't need this but let's just say that I need this let's say I am let's say let's say you are an expert in planting um, planting trees or planting or gardening or whatever you're an expert in gardening you're great at making gardens and I have like problems with my gardens and I you know the trees are dying I'm just wondering why after putting so many good stuff like fertilizers and and, 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 and proper nutrition for the plants how come they are not growing to the, to the right optimum way 
And let's say you're an expert at that and you found out that I have a problem like that. So what you what do you do? Well, let's say if you want two hours of my time, you say, Desmond, I want to grow my gardening business using the internet. I would like your time. And I say that, you know, my time is going to be, you know, for two hours, it's going to be 5,000 US dollars, okay? And, and, and you say, you know, I don't have 5,000 US dollars, but I noticed that the trees in your, in your garden, they are dying. What, what are you doing right now with them? And I, I tell you that I'm doing this and doing that. You know what? Well, how about this? I'll give you two hours of my consulting and you give me two hours of your consulting. And bam, that is a bottle of value right there. You can, you, sometimes it's not about the money. Understand this. If I want to fix my garden, I'm going to pay someone two hours of consulting or even more anyway. So I might as well benefit my students. This is what I call value equals value. The only reason you feel like you cannot afford something is because you you you. Don't understand the idea that you need to create value right now. So ask yourself this, what skills do you have? What is your passion? What's your expertise? Because if you have no value, you are not going to be able to be rich. You are not going to be wealthy. You cannot make money if you cannot create value. You have to be able to create value. And ideally, it's a value that the entire world needs. A value that you can help the entire world, not just a specific location. Because if you can help the world, there's so many billions of people out there. You can reach out to so many people using this methodology. So you have to you have to really think, okay? Now, talking about this, and I really want you guys to understand this, I want to leave this video with just one last advice. Don't focus on the money. Focus on creating value for other people. Focus on helping other people's problems and solving their problems for them. And then the money will come. Don't focus on the money focus on value creation because you will only be paid equivalent to the value you created or a little bit less than that so make sure you understand that create value the money will come this is a short video i'm just taking a walk to to de-stress myself because i've been stressing about my students my platinum mastery program students successes and, 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 and their mindsets and, and 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 the whole entire thing because every platinum mastery program is different and always focus on helping my students succeed so uh, with that saying, uh, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, like it, share it, and let me know if you want more videos like this.